about 20 to 20 something years old because when you start getting into teenage years, that's when things get worse to where you don't know who you are, you're trying to figure out your sexuality, whether you're straight, whether you're gay, you're trying to figure out if you're loved at home by your parents, you're trying to figure out if the kids at school think you're cute or not. There's so much stuff that kids have to deal with and if it's not dealt with from when they are younger, it can turn into a lack or something that they're missing when they go into their adulthood. And it can turn into the where they have messed up relationships to where it's just like uh, whatever boyfriend a woman gets or whatever woman that a man gets, it's like they're misunderstood. And it's not so much of being misunderstood, it's just the fact of they just don't realize that the lack of love that they wasn't getting from home that transferred into them kind of not knowing how to have a successful relationship as adults. So um, I really just have to say for people that I guess are the total opposite, because like I always say, when you talk about any topic, you always have the odds, you always have the statistics, and different numbers of who did what or who been what. So you got people that come from wonderful families, been loved all their life, and spoon fed, you know, they had a normal life the way a family should have, so they wouldn't understand what it feel like to have that black hole of, oh man, you know, it's like everybody's against me, I don't know who to trust, this person could love me, then who to say they don't turn on me, or um, when you do get somebody that's really trying to give you genuine love, and the person that never received the love is like, what you see in me? I mean, I know I'm not ugly or anything, but what what do you see in me? Because nobody else never seen anything in me, so why are you seeing something in me? Like, I just don't understand it. And it's like, you would think something as simple as love would be an easy thing just to have naturally, but it's not. They actually done studies on uh, the effect of a baby not getting attention or any type of love. And the results was really astounding. It was really sad because a lot of the kids, some babies, and they did the study from newborn up until one, and a lot of the babies didn't even survive. Like they had it to, it, it sounds like that's just inhumane, but I read so deep into stuff like that that you'd be surprised what the government does just to see how humans react to certain things. And they actually did a study to where they didn't give the babies no attention at all and some of the babies died because what happens is the way babies try to get parents attention is they cry so they cry you know they baby so that's all they can do so at the end of the day um like i said some of the babies they end up passing away some of the babies just stopped crying didn't cry no more um some babies were withdrawn and the babies that did survive into growing up, they became psychopaths, they became... Um, to that really goes to show that attention from a newborn baby up until you become a young adult is detrimental because, I mean, it, it really affects 
the way you have your relationships going forward. You know, and it's hard because some people it can show in things such as are you affectionate? Um, do you don't want to be touched? Uh, do you want to talk about things? Every time something happens, whether it's small or big, do you run from the problem? Do you communicate through the problem? Or, I mean, do you fight through the problem? I mean, it's so many ways that can the telltale sign that somebody wasn't loved at home. And it always starts from home. Everything that starts from home, it shows into your adulthood when you grow up. So some people manage to get be strong-willed, and they manage to push through it, and they manage to sometimes find outside ways to learn it, whether they get maybe another uh, mother figure or they get another father figure to where people that's outside of the family will embrace them and take them in at a young age, or they'll embrace them and take them in even as a young adult and show them, that, hey man, you don't gotta be like this. You know, you don't have to keep getting in trouble going back and forth to jail, or you don't have to keep sleeping with this dude and that dude having all these babies by all these different men. It's other ways for you to fill that black hole of feeling like you're not loved versus destroying yourself. Because at the end of the day, what happens is when people just missing just the attention or the love or just that somebody special in their life, they do self-destructive things and they do it not knowing they're doing it or they're doing it in the sense of where they don't care about life. And you never want to get to where you just don't give two cents about life. When you get that far gone, you need to go get professional help or truly find somebody that can bring you out of that. Because sometimes all it takes is just one person to care, you know. And a lot of times we're missing that in today's world to where more, more people are so much practicing on hate. They are so much practicing on just slamming people in the dirt. Like, it's no love. And that's exactly why I pride myself on my channel to make this a place of family, to make this a place of love, and to make this a place of just joy. Because if you really look at everything, especially, and in, in just even looking here on YouTube, and I'm not trying to put myself on any pedestal, but if you look at a lot of things on YouTube, the most things that get a lot of views is drama, uh, hate actions, or um, murder, or something about news, or, or a woman be half naked, something dealing with sex, or twerking, twerking like it's hot. I mean, that's, that's the stuff that sells. And it's sad to say that a person would rather spend their time on drama, or they'd rather spend their time on a bunch of sex, 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 or they'd rather spend their time on just, you know, negative things, that that's all they want to see. And when you got somebody that's either really giving genuine information, or you got somebody that's really trying to show that it's a positive vibe out there, most people like, blah, that's boring, I don't want that. But that's what you need in your life. If, if you really look at it in a sense, that's the normalcy that we're missing today. That's supposed to be the norm, is to see your fellow brother out there, and if your brother down and out, I mean, it's kind of hard to do it now today because it's so unsafe, you know, people ready to kill you at the drop of a dime, like bang, bang, you did now, to where it's like you can't trust nobody. But the way it's supposed to be is that if you saw your fellow brother down, you walk up to an hey, bro, you know, it's gonna be all right, man. You know, you need something, I got you. You know, hey, man, you know, let's do this and that. You know, let's be cool. But it don't be like that nowadays. If anything, you see somebody down and out, what you, what most people gonna do is just stomp them further down. Like, what, what, you stomp, stomp? Like, really? Is this, is this the world we live in today? And it's sad. So that's why I truly pride myself on let's love each other, not judge each other. Because at the end of the day, you know, I never judge you. And it's, it's, it seemed like that statement is so hard to do. And the reason why I came up with that statement, because like I said in a video about, you know, be free to not care, you know, I was getting a lot of hate myself in the beginning of my YouTube career. And it came to me to where it was like, well, shoot, why can't we just love each other and not judge each other? Like, I'm like, oh, shoot, that's catchy. So yeah, so it stuck. And I said, okay, well, hopefully if I say it enough that people would get the love vibe to where hopefully they'll start feeling that way. And I don't know if it worked, but I kind of feel like it's done something because I've even gotten it to where people are starting to be more loving through the comments. People are starting to throw, I love you out there. And I throw it, they're like, I love you too, bro. Or I love you too, sis. 
And that's how it's supposed to be. We're supposed to be a community no matter the race, color, no matter the gender, no matter what job you do, no matter what background you come from, no matter what country you're from, no matter what city you're from, it should be like that. So, you know, things take time and sometimes it may not even happen, but all you can do is look in the mirror and do your part in the world to show the love that you can give to a fellow sister that don't have nobody to show her how to be a woman or a fellow brother that's lost in his manhood to pull him up, to show him how to take care of his woman and his kids, to show him how to be productive so we can have productive families. Because when you think about it, everything starts with the man in the house. And if you really think deep into everything, I feel like that's why things are so destroyed today is because somehow things got out men to where they're not men anymore. And men are so much not men anymore without the man in the house, the woman has to take on the man's role to where now things are so out of whack to where she has to be mommy and daddy and now the kids, they home alone because mommy got to work, she can't be home to be the mother. I mean, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And things have to come into perspective so that people can bring love back into this world and bring, you know, roles back into this world to where everybody fall into their system, or not to say system, because that's another problem too, is that the system is trying to bring everything into a one world. I'm not even gonna say it, but yeah, so things are deeper than what they seem, but at the end of the day, look in the mirror at yourself and it starts with you one person at a time. So I'm doing my part in the world to try to get all the love that I'm able to give. Can you do the same? Can you? If you can, then let's start the day. So <laughs> let's, let's pretend like this is church. Let's, let's start the day. Anybody want to get up and walk down this aisle? Come walk down the aisle and let's save you today, my brother. My sister, come walk down the aisle and join the church of Pinky's Club today. <laughs> y'all know I had to add a joke in there, right? <laughs> well, all right, y'all. I just thought I'd share that. And um, yeah, so I'll be checking back in with y'all with a couple more videos. I'm still behind on some responses and everything. I have to check emails and everything. And I'm going to get around to it. So, all right, y'all. Let's love each other. And now let's dance to this a little bit.
I never judge y'all. So what am I about to say? You guessed it. Deuces.